Oh my goodness, legends, I don't know how to tell you this, but we have just received a very important email. And on the email is the biggest, best news ever for Sabre, ever. Oh my goodness, legends, I don't know how to tell you this, but we have just received a very important email. And on the email is the biggest, best news ever for Sabre, ever. Right now, Sabre is upstairs and she's getting dressed because she's planning on filming a clip for you guys about her health update because lots of bad things have been going on for Sabre about her health. So the plan is, in the middle of her filming the health update, we are going to show her this email with the best news ever on it. Here's Papa, have you got your tooth in? Yeah, do you want my tooth, do you guys want my tooth in so it looks normal but I can't speak properly or out so it looks scary but I can speak properly? What would you prefer? Option one. Hey legends. Option two. Yeah, take it out, take it out. Ah. Okay. <laughs> You're gonna scare the legends. <laughs> you are gonna scare the legends. Hey legends. <laughs> <laughs> So I prefer option one, put the tooth back in. Okay. okay, legends, here's the plan. So Sabre has actually been invited to the X Games trials. Can you believe it? As you guys know, Sabre's had a bit of a hard time with her health and I know she's had a million tests and it's been really hard for her. So I just feel like this is just what she needs to and I just believe in herself again. So the plan is after she gives you guys all her health update, we're gonna pretend that this email, which is actually an invite to the X Games, is her doctor's medical report. And we're gonna say, can you read this email out to the legends about your medical report? And when she reads it out to you guys, it's, she's gonna be so surprised because it's actually an invite to the X Games trials in America. Sabre's favorite place in the world. I don't know if she's gonna be more excited about going to the X Games or going to America. We'll find out. It's, it's kind of like a prank, but it's not really a mean prank. It's just like a happy prank sort of thing. So. Yeah. So I'll go upstairs right now and show you what Sabre's up to. Come on, legends. Can you believe this, legends? You guys actually know before Sabre. <laughs> hey, guys. Oh, hey. What are you doing? Oh, we're just getting ready to talk about my health updates. Oh, okay. Socky, Biggie, come up and do the intro. I'll go and get Socky and Biggie so we can do the intro. Guys, come upstairs to do the intro. Okay. Okay. She's gone. I'm gonna give you an update about my health. So legends, we're gonna let Sabre film her health update first, but don't worry, we're gonna come back later. Bye bye. Bye bye. So legends, I just wanted to do a health update because you legends have been so supportive and it's been like we've been in it together. So I just wanted to let you legends know how I've been going with Chiari malformation and all the crappy things that have happened. So I've had so many doctor's appointments, MRIs, blood tests, bone ages, x-rays, lots of doctory stuff. Which is really scary because the results are never predictable. And I'm just always worried what the result could be. So I'm not sure if I've told you legends or not, but I've been diagnosed with Chiari malformation which means my brain is too big for my skull. It's good because I have a really big brain, but it just sucks that my skull isn't big enough to hold it. So my skull puts pressure on my brain and that's forced my brain to grow down my spinal canal. And there's just lots of bad things that can happen because of that. So the plan is, is that I need to get an MRI scan every six months to monitor it, just to see if it's getting worse and I need an operation. So let's keep our fingers crossed that I don't need an operation. And my plan is that I need to put good karma out in the world so the world doesn't feel like I need to be punished. And then hopefully the MRI results are always 
operation free. <laughs> what the doctors haven't figured out yet is if my Chiari malformation is linked to me not growing. Because you know how I told you guys that I'm not growing and that I haven't grown in a couple of years now? The doctors are still not sure why my growth has stopped. But with all the tests that the doctors have been doing, they have worked out that my final height is going to be really short. This makes me feel like embarrassed and not normal, like a freak sort of. But at least I still get to fit some kid guys. <laughs> Hopefully I grow into the adult size clothes. There has to be some clothes for really small adults. Hasn't they? So what the doctors were going to do at the start, they were going to give me growth hormones to make me taller. And I was so excited because yes, I'm not going to be so short, I'm going to grow. Anyway, the bad news is, is that because of Chiari malformation, I can't get growth hormones. I had a bit of a fight with my mum and dad because the doctor said I can have growth hormones, but my mum and dad are worried that it could have some bad side effects and my brain could grow even bigger in my little skull. And I've already got things wrong with my spine and everything. And the doctor said if it was her child, she probably wouldn't give her child the growth hormones. But for me, all I really care about is how tall I'm gonna be for my sports skateboarding and surfing and being small is like a real disadvantage because you're not as powerful as what you would be if you're taller. I don't think mum, dad and the doctor understand that I don't really care what I'm like when I'm an adult. I just want to I just want to be tall enough for when I'm 16 and I'm trying to get into the Olympics. I just don't want to have a disadvantage and all that. So being super small is just making all my Olympic dreams harder. And that just means I've got no other option than to just put in more hours and show more heart and just focus. I'm not going to win an Olympic medal if I'm just like whinging about it. Because that's, that's just really... I just, if you're whinging about it, you don't really deserve to get good things. So I just need to suck it up and be more like you legends and just be a proper true legend who just gets over it and moves on. So that's the plan. So my skateboarding goals for this year is to get into the world championships for skateboarding and hopefully get into the final and become one of the top eight best skaters in the world. And the other massive goal, which I probably don't really have any chance in, is the X Games. So all the best extreme sports athletes come together to compete in the X Games. To qualify for that, I need to go into the X Games qualifiers, which you have to get an invite into. So I've got to win. I've got to, I've got to, um... To be honest, I don't really know how to qualify for the X Games qualifiers. So... <laughs> I need to just get lucky. So I'm just gonna try to keep concentrating on my skating and thinking about the X Games and the World Championships. And hopefully I get a letter in the mail saying that I'm allowed in the X Games qualifiers. That would be so good. But the chances are like really, really um slim. Really low. Is it on? Yeah. Um, did you read out the results? Dr. Spoolies or whatever results. Hey legends, sorry for interrupting, but I heard Sabre talking about um your chariot malformation in the MRI. So here's the results that the, what was your doctor's name? Marcus Spoodle or yeah. something like that? Yeah, he wrote for the last MRI. Okay. So just, maybe you wanna share it. <laughs> Sabre hasn't read the results. We try and normally keep stuff like that from her because don't wanna overload her brain. So you can read the legends, the results of the- Don't overload, don't <laughs> overload my brain, make it bigger. <laughs> I'm so nervous. Wait, this isn't it. <laughs> Read it out. What? <laughs> <laughs> it's not, this isn't, this isn't a test results. This is, this isn't an invitation for the X Games qualifiers. Our park selection committee feels Sabre deserves an invite to compete in the in the road to x games boise qualifier happening june 15th to the 16th 2018 in boise idaho you're gonna go to america so <laughs> you just typed this down haven't
haven't you? No, I can't. it's not a prank. I got it the other day. Please let me know if she's interested and can make it this summer. Yeah. I'd be there, I'd be there, I wouldn't miss it for the world. So Sabre, you are going to the X Games and you're going to America and you're going to represent the legends in America at the X Games. <laughs> like the trials. And you're going there soon. No, I'm so proud of how you've been, how brave you've, brave you've been with everything and look at this. <laughs> I'm so happy for you, you know? Everything you've been through, and then look at this. So happy for you, so. <laughs> <Help I. laughs> she just emailed me out of the blue. Oh, that was, t that was yesterday. Yeah. Yeah, probably I got it. All the bad things that happen and then sometimes, you know, you put all the good things out into the world and good things happen like that. I think that's just the way it works. Can I have someone coming with me? Yes, yeah, so we have to organise all that. Holy moly, that's so soon. I don't believe this, hey. I feel like... <laughs> well, I can't believe she thought about me. So Papa thinks you guys should go into in a couple of weeks to go practice. Oh, we should vlog that. Yeah, so you're going to go to America, your favourite place <laughs> in the world. <laughs> We can't all go because it costs too much money. Yeah. But I don't know, we'll work. Like someone will go with you. Legends, I cannot believe this! Can you believe it? Oh, I need to, I need to get in. I need to, I need to just practice. <laughs> well, you can enjoy it, the invite first before you go in. Wow! It's so surreal, like, in, like how in Ellen, you know, yeah, know, how Ellen said, oh, you're coming to America, it's like this. But I didn't get lucky, like I, you well, I got, I got lucky, but it's something that it's, I've worked hard for. Yeah, it wasn't just calling you the dead for that. <laughs> yeah, that's, anyone can do that. Let's go down. Oh, sorry, I'm really emotional. I'm just happy for you. So let's go downstairs and tell Biggie, Saber, and Socky the news. They have no idea. I try not to act too happy. It's time to go tell Socky, Biggie, and there's this exciting news. Guys, you might see them all together on um, the land covers lying on now. Okay. This one? Yeah, the one you're lying on. This is the results I got from my latest MRI scan. So yeah. if you guys want to read it, you guys can. Hi there, and my organised nation women skateboard. The women skateboarding saying <laughs> for organising all the women's skateboarding events at. Uh, X Games. Uh. Our pot selection. Compl a couple of only feel oh. safe deserves an invite to compete with the. Rosa, Rosa X Games point to call. But you know what? So Saber's gonna Saber's so Saber's gonna go to America in a couple of weeks and practice. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh. Because you've always wanted to go here, and then like you get an invite to go here. I don't know what to think about it. I don't know what to think of it because <laughs> Sabre has been telling me she's desperate to go for so long. I feel like this is a mama and papa crappy nuts prank, is it? It's not a prank. <laughs> it's not yeah. a prank. Is that what I thought? Prank you! <laughs> no one's going to the X Games! Mama and papa and the crappy nuts pulled off the best prank of all time. We just toyed with our daughter's emotions and really... No, just yeah. joking. It's not a no. Yeah. We wouldn't prank you about something like that. We're not that mean. <laughs> Jeez. Are you, right? Right <laughs> Are you worried? No, it's not a prank, I promise. It doesn't look official. No. <laughs> Don't. I just type that out on the computer. That's what I said. No, the official one's coming. Yeah, if, right. If you do this. <laughs> How are we going to do it all? We have to work out if we're the best plan and stuff like that. We've got heaps to do here, we've got heaps to do in the house. Boring, boring. How do you feel, Biggie? <laughs> well, I'm, I'm stressed out. I'm oh, okay. Oh, Didums is stressed. <laughs> Let's rain on Saber's day. Yay. How do you guys feel? I feel <laughs> mind blown. I can't believe Saber's going to Gone. Idaho. Idaho, yeah, that's what she said. Yeah. That's even further away than Los Angeles. Oh, really? Yeah. 
It's like, cold? Hard, it's like in the middle of America. It's just cold. Oh, yeah, it's yeah, just it's cold. Snows. Well, I feel like we need to go practice. Come on, guys, let's go skate. Okay, guys, I'm going to be safe with Colt and I'm going to make you the best skateboarder ever. So let's get our skate clothes on and let's go for a skate. Yes! <laughs> And now it's time to go home to wrap up this video. Teleportation! <gasps> Teleportation is finished! Legends, we just got home and it's night time and we're about to eat our dinner. Woo! It's been the most coolest thing to be able to share this amazing day with you, Legends. And I've just been thinking about all the other girls I'm going to be competing against. They've, they're going to have sponsors and they're going to have coaches and I'm not going to have any of those things. But what I'm going to have is so much more powerful. I'm going to have an army of legends. I'm going to have a team of legends who support me and believe in me. And I'm going to go to America and I'm going to represent every single one of you legends. Hopefully I'm not going to let anyone down and I promise you guys that I'm going to train my hardest and I'm going to do my best to make, make the legends happy. happy. Yeah. <laughs> do the legends proud. Don't put so much pressure on yourself. The legends just want you to be happy. Mm, that's right, Sam. He's actually mm. right. I like when I'm right. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot to remind the legends about the legends only baby shower. That's going to be the best vlog ever. And we're posting it really soon. <gasps> I can't wait. Like yeah, you gotta watch, it's gonna be the best vlog ever. <laughs> Legends, it's time for the shout out. This week's shout out goes to... Kira and Katie. <gasps> Hi, Kira, Kira and Katie. Katie. They hashtag Legends. She said, I haven't been here for long, Ooh. but I just can't stop watching hashtag Cash Me Knuckles. Oh. It's so cool getting new Legends. We love the Legends that have been here from the start. And the new ones. Yeah. <laughs> and if you're new to this channel, please hit that big red subscribe button right there. I'll give you a kiss if you do. Oh! oh. Legends, if you want to be in our next shout out, all you have to do is... Hashtag Legends. Write a comment. And turn on notifications. And we cannot wait to shout you out. Even though we don't shout out every single comment, we definitely read it. Every single one, and they're so sweet. Anyway, yeah, legends. Yeah. See you, legends. It's time for dinner. Yeah. yeah. yeah.